What's good, Lauren Lovies, and welcome back to the channel, you guys. I am back with another video. I haven't uploaded in a really long time. I think it's been about a week or two. Usually, I'm consistent. I upload a lot. I wanted to get on here and do a true apology video. I've been on the news for a prank I pulled. At first, it was started with the news in Houston, and then it spread, like, all over the country. So, I just want to reach out. And I just want to really, truly, genuinely apologize to the Walmart lady that feelings I hurt. So I'm going to just talk about different things about the video, so make sure you guys watch the full video. I feel honestly really, really bad. Do not feel bad for me, you guys. Do not feel bad. I don't expect anyone to feel bad for me. That was my mistake. But I just want to talk about um, what it's like being a YouTuber and just me apologizing and just explaining to you guys, like, how I feel and just, like, you know, me being honest with you guys. So, yeah, basically, you guys know I'm a YouTuber, if you guys don't know already. If you guys are new to this channel, or if you guys, you know, are already subscribed to me. Yes, I'm a YouTuber. That is my full-time job. So, as a YouTuber, you make money on YouTube. You do videos to make money on YouTube. They, that's their career. That's their job. That's how they make their income. That's how they feed their kids. Um, I have two kids. And as a YouTuber, you think of stuff that, oh, that's what can I do to go viral, you know? Just like anybody else, they do their job to make money. And I'm thinking, like, oh, what can I do to go viral? Because, you know, that's the key component. You go viral, you know, the more money you make. So... I'm always thinking of, like, different cool creative video ideas I can do. And, you know, me and Joel prank each other, and I thought I could do a social experiment. And as a YouTuber, I feel like it's a lot of, like, miscommunication. Not miscommunication, but it's kind of, like, mixed understandings or mixed, like, ideas about YouTubers. People think YouTubers are bougie or they're just self-centered. They don't really care. But I feel like as a YouTuber, I feel like we have a lot of pressure on us. Being a YouTuber, you're, like, literally in the public eye, so... When things go out of proportion, it's like, it's not really what you expect. Like, for me, I didn't expect to be, like, portrayed as a bad person because I feel like I'm honestly a really caring, I'm a very caring person, you know? I'm very caring. I, I'm not, like, an evil person. I'm a very nice person. If you know me personally, too, you know I'm a very caring person. I'm very, like, um, open of, like, people's feelings and just stuff like that, so... If you guys don't know already, I did a prank at Walmart, and what I did is, I dressed as a CEO, I had a wig, I had an outfit on, and I had the whole work outfit on, and I went to Walmart, and I was pretending like I was actually firing the workers, um... I was not the first one that did this video. I was not the first one that created this video. I actually saw some other YouTubers doing this video. Um, you know, myself as a YouTuber, I actually watch other YouTubers. And I watch, you know, relationship channels. I watch, like, single people. I watch, like, comedian people, beauty channels. And I also watch, like, pranksters. And there's these other few channels that I watch. And they do, like, a lot of social experiments. They do, like, real pranks in public. And I think it's, I think it's actually really creative. So I saw this prank, and I thought it would be a good idea. Basically, what happened was I dressed as a CEO. And I went into the Walmart, and I decided... And I decided to play a prank on the Walmart workers and basically act like I was firing them. I didn't even expect the workers to believe me that I was a CEO, but it was really a public experiment. I wanted to see if people would really believe me and if I looked believable. And um, people believed that I was really a CEO of the Walmart. I fired them, but it all went wrong when I spoke to the one lady. I didn't think anything of it. The lady ended up being, I guess, the wrong person to choose last lady that I pranked, she was an elder lady, and I guess she was going through some things, and she cried at the end when I told her that she was fired, so she ended up crying, and I felt really bad, though, like, I really felt bad, I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I even gave her a hug, because she, like, broke down crying, I really felt bad, I was like, oh my gosh, and on Tuesday, I got an email from a news network, I think it was ABC Houston, and they emailed me, and they said the lady had came to them, um, and she was just really emotional, and... They wanted to get a statement out of me. I actually declined it because I wanted to apologize myself. Um, I wanted to just, you know, genuinely, truly apologize and just kind of do it myself and not really be on the news because I feel like the news definitely can, like, make situations more dramatic than they really are. So they emailed me, and I kind of declined it because, I, like I said, I wanted to apologize myself. And after that, after they posted it, um, people were, like, telling me, oh, my gosh, you're in the news, and like I said, I don't want anyone to feel bad for me, but I genuinely, too, truly do want to apologize to the Walmart lady. I am truly sorry. I didn't expect, I didn't know what you were going through. I didn't expect that to happen. Um, like I said, I have to learn with that lesson. I'm only human. I actually took the video down. I private the video myself. YouTube did not take the video down. The video was reported, but since I physically did not harm anyone, the video still up. YouTube did not delete the video. I private the video myself. That whole video was all over the news on all of the networks. So I was like, oh, my 
my gosh, this like really went viral. Yeah, I actually popped the video myself and it was just all over the news and I've actually been getting emails from like reporters or just like the news networks wanting to interview me and get a statement and I've been declining all of them because I just want to apologize myself, my genuine self because I know the news kind of just likes to dramatic, dramatize everything. But you guys, if you guys are wondering, I am actually in the car right now because I am actually in Detroit visiting my mom and family. So if you guys are wondering why I'm in the car, because you guys know Camilla and Jr. in the house and then Vanessa's... also here so it's kind of loud in there so i thought i could do the video in the car so i can just really sit down and just really talk to you guys i'm only human and that video is something that i have to learn with myself and just grow from as a person and just learn from that lesson so that's definitely something i have to deal with and i don't want anybody to feel bad for me i don't want anybody to feel bad for me or give me any type of sympathy this is something i have to live with myself so yeah i really felt bad after that but i was just anyways i was just saying as a youtuber we have to like, you know, we have to make money for ourselves. So when you're a YouTuber, think of stuff like, oh, what can I do that's going to go viral? You know, I thought it would be a good idea. That was actually not my first public experiment, but it was one of my first ones. Um, I really don't do stuff like that, but I thought I could do it. And so, yeah, that was just a prank idea, and it just turned out really bad. Now I know the YouTuber, it's just a lot I have to go through. Um, I did not expect to get that backlash. Like I said, I'm truly a good, honest, nice person. I did not know it was going to happen like that. You just do videos for content. You don't really expect to get backlash. You expect to put out good, entertaining content. You know, I'm an entertainer, so I expect to put out good content that my viewers will enjoy, things that people really want to see, like stuff that's, you know, outside of the box. So what I do that for is, yeah, I do it for, you know, purposely entertainment. I did not, you know, we don't expect for things to go bad or for me to get backlash. And the news wanted to interview me. They wanted to get a statement about the whole situation. I declined the interview and I was just thinking like I'd rather apologize to the lady myself and I wanted to apologize to the lady myself so I didn't want to do the interview and after that YouTube clip was on the news it started to go like all across the crunch in the news and I was getting I've been getting a bunch of emails from different news networks and different just reporters and stuff saying they wanted to interview me on it and I just kind of declined all of them because I wanted to personally apologize myself I didn't just want to do it publicly I wanted to do it to her. So really as a YouTuber, I feel like I just, I wanted to go viral. I did not know I was going to do that, but I thought, oh, it would be a good reaction. Let's get this person. I was really honestly hoping for a good, true reaction. So that was my intentions. But I don't think people understand YouTubers. I feel like as a YouTuber, people think that YouTubers are like always trying to get down or they're just really just mean and cruel. YouTube pranks are honestly not intentional to hurt anybody. Honestly, it's for ourselves to make money we make money through our videos we do video ideas that's gonna go viral because that's how we feed our kids you know i have two kids i have a 15 month old and i also have a six month old and that's the way i feed my children i take care of my family and i and for video content we do stuff that people are gonna watch and that's entertaining um so public experience are literally only meant for entertaining but i did not mean for it to go the way it did so i am truly genuinely sorry if you're watching this um to the lady if you're watching this i am really truly sorry honestly i did not mean for you to get upset about it i am not justifying the situation or saying it was okay i'm just simply explaining my side of the story i didn't intentionally do that prank like oh i'm gonna go um mess with some workers and do it just to hurt their feelings i didn't know it was gonna get blown on proportion like that and i feel like as a youtuber just as a person i feel like we're allowed to um you're there's no law or criminal against doing public experiments it's literally getting a random person's reaction i feel like as long as you're not physically hurting that person or like cursing them out or just doing something that can really like have a serious effect on someone or like you know physically hurting them i feel like that's different but i feel like the prank i did was honestly was just for laughs was funny the first two people reaction was like you know laugh it off funny but the last one just ended up going really bad so that was definitely a lesson learned um that's something i have to live with so i hope if you're watching this that you will forgive me for what i did i am really truly sorry that you had to go through that i just want to say again i am sorry i truly sorry i'm gonna end this video guys and i'm out hey ladies now's the time to live your best life 
look and feel like a queen by shopping my first live at laurenlovecollection.com.